Welcome back everyone, I'm Ken Plays Games, this is Eve Online, you see before you a Fenox, and that means it's time for us to do another level 3 mission. And the level 3 mission we're doing today is the Mordus Headhunters. This is just another seek and destroy, it is indeed against Mordus Legion, who are weakest to kinetic, that's great, we're a Fenox, we use hybrid weapons that do only kinetic and thermal damage. So damage guys are going to be fine. It is one system across, I do believe. We are being paid 706,000 ISK for doing this, 2,017 loyalty points, with a further 641,000 ISK if we complete this mission within 4 hours and 42. So the 4 hours 42 and the 2,000 loyalty points tells us this is a medium to high difficulty level 3 mission. So let's click accept and see how we do. Right, made it safe and sound to the next system. Let's turn everything on as we go to the mission. For the moment, we will leave the tracking computer turned off. We will see what range everything is at and then make a decision as to which ammunition and which script we need, just so we can reload everything right at the start. We have, of course, got the tactical overlay turned on so we can see the ranges and it appears we have an in gate. So I'm assuming this is multiple rooms. Very much like mercenaries, Mordu's Legion ships always drop at least some kind of loot. So um, the Noctis is going to have its work cut out for it, I think. Okay, we see the outgate. There's the enemy slowly spawning in. They're a little bit outside our fall off range, so I think we're going to reload to... No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to stay with what we are, and we're going to stick with antimatter, and we're going to turn the tracking speed script on on the tracking computer because lots of other things have just spawned really close to us. So let's do what we do and get rid of all the frigates first. There we go. Again, one limitation of this fit we are using is that we do not have any signal amplifiers or sensor boosters to speed up targeting of small targets. It's only a minor problem. But it is a little bit of an annoyance at times. As you see, all these wrecks have at least some kind of loot. Seems that this medium group has aggressed as well. The, these other three, which are the furthest away NPCs, have not aggressed. Yeah, we'll get rid of that Mordor's Katana next, because that's a frigate. I don't want the frigates to get close. Then we'll just try and kill these other two frigates, even though they're not aggressed. We don't really care if that one cruiser accompanying them gets aggressed. It's not going to be a big issue. There we go, all dead. Now it's just lots of cruisers and then a, a sprint to the gate. They are red box, so they are actively firing at us which is why we're missing every now and then, because they are slowly orbiting, but it's enough to throw us off. Uh, why don't we just directly approach them, because they're... That will reduce the angular velocity to almost zero, so we won't miss quite as often. There we go, that's better. And it moves us in the general direction of the acceleration gate, which is where we want to go anyway. No more reinforcements. Jolly good. Turn the tracking computer off. Reload the antimatter ammo. Again, we'll make a decision as to what script to load in the tracking computer when we get into the second room and see the range that everything is at. Likewise with the ammunition. And here we go into Bad room two. Active. Do not know how many rooms... The level 4 version has two rooms. I'm not sure if this is going to be the same. Not seeing an acceleration gate. Okay, this is just two rooms. They're at quite a nice range, so we'll just turn the tracking computer back on with the tracking speed script in. And we'll keep firing the shorter range antimatter ammunition. Lots of frigates here, not too many cruisers. Which is strange. Yeah, here they are. There's more stuff spawning in slowly. I knew it had to be more cruisers than just that. Again, no battle cruisers. I don't even think Mordor's Legion have a battle cruiser. 
Just in general, I think there are not enough battle cruisers in level 3 missions. Okay, we're missing that guy completely because he's an elite frigate. He's got too close and the guns are missing. We'll drag these down here and let the drones go and munch on them. I know, we actually put our drones out. Very rare, but it does happen on occasion. We'll just have to keep an eye on our drones and these Mortis Bounty Hunters. If these red boxes change to yellow, it means they're not firing at us anymore. And that means they're going to be firing at our drones. Which would not be nice, but they don't seem to be switching aggression to our drones just yet. They haven't got elite resistances or anything, I don't think. But if they are, it's very minimal elite resistances. That's one gone. Get the drones on the other one. Jolly good show. So far so good. I don't believe there's any reinforcement spawns. I'll just take them in distance order closest to furthest away. I think the drones are just about finished their job. Yep, we'll just bring him back. We don't really need the 99 DPS there providing. I will just approach these guys because our optimal range is 34. And yeah, do you want to approach? Yeah. Not with the micro warp drive on, just with it off. This has almost the same effect of using the keep it range button. Just keeps us nice and lined up with the target. Okay, we'll be able to kill this before we run out of ammunition. Let's see. I doubt it. That's one gun out of ammo. Two Our guns out of ammo. Out of hey, we did it. And apparently that's mission complete. Just check we have two bookmarks. Yes, we do. Two rooms, two bookmarks. Right, let's go and hand the mission in. Warp drive active. Right, made it back safe and sound. Now let's complete the mission. And that was 10 minutes from the moment we clicked accept to the moment we clicked complete. So let's board the Noctis, take it out, grab all the loot, and I'll bring you back when that's been done. And the Noctis has been out and gathered up all the loot, so let's have a look at what we made. We made 706,000 by way of agent mission reward, 641,000 for time bonus, Bounty prizes is 1,520,000, which is pretty good for a level 3 mission. Loot and salvage, we got a stunking 7.94 million isk. Viable item shows us that three of the items are worth over a quarter of a million. These two guns are about 400,000 each. And this medium compact shield extender is worth 4.3 million, which is lovely. Salvage wise, only 751,000 because we got no contaminated Lorentz fluid. Loyalty points wise, we got 2,017 of them, so when we multiply those by 1,000 and add it together with everything else, we come up with a grand total of somewhere in the region of 12.8 million isk. Which isn't too bad for a level 3 mission. It took us 10 minutes, but at least there was lots of loot, and the more times you pick up loot, the more likely you are to roll something nice. We didn't get anything particularly good, other than, of course, that medium shield extender. So, come back in the next episode and see how much money we make in the next level 3 mission. Until then, do look after yourself, and I'll talk to you again very soon.